motion or what, what happened? It was my ankle. I uh, just uh, play uh, ball to the basket. My foot got stuck in his body when he was falling, and uh, my momentum still going forward, so my ankle just kind of got stuck. So I just rolled it real quick. But other than that, I'm fine, man. I rolled my ankle a thousand times playing the game basketball. So you know, he tie your shoe up, uh, tie there, and move on. Just keep it going. Yeah, you came back and you had six yeah. points here. Yeah, that's it, man. You know, I, like I said, I didn't roll my ankle a couple of times, so not to know ten, it really doesn't bother me. Just that fresh initial contact on it, you know, it was just kind of scary and just, you know, had to calm down, let the nerves and everything uh, settle, and then I was right back. Cool. Step back three, where do you get that, uh, like, the confidence? Uh, it's basketball, man. I'm confident every time I'm on the floor, you know, so... Uh, we ran the play, it was a low clock. Um, you know, I, shot, I shoot and work on threes a lot of time. Um, my workouts and stuff like that, so it's not, a, it's not a new shot. It's not really a difficult shot for me. So when I seen the clock winding down, I stepped right behind the three and I shot the ball with confidence, and you seen the results of it. Simple as that. What are you making to Michael in the last few games? Like, he gets more comfortable with you guys all the time. Uh, you know, it's basically just, you know, he's playing uh, the right way and basically just trusting the process, really. I mean, we already knew what type of guy he was. We already knew what he could bring to the table. Um, you know, we're competing with us and being on the floor with us. So basically, you just uh, basically get comfortable, really. You know, it's not really about like he's doing anything new or anything different. Basically, you just get comfortable. You and him know each other from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at this uh, rookie transitional uh, program together when we first came in. So, like I said, this goes uh, farther and deeper outside of basketball. Man. You know, and that's the type of relationship that you want to be able to have with people. You know, and it goes past the game. So, when you heard that you guys were getting him, was that like, were you happy to hear that? Yeah, because I know that what type of player he is, man. He's definitely kind of one of those players just like me. Plays with a lot of energy, plays with a lot of heart, grit, and competitive. Uh, this guy is definitely going to go out there and give it all he's got while he's on the floor. And he's definitely going to be one of those tougher guys that he's not going to back down from them. Yeah. Shea seems like he's playing more free lately. Do you see that? Do you feel oh, yeah, yeah. He's like I said, it's just a lot of confidence thing, man. I definitely think that Doc has, you know, put our label on us and what type of team that we want to be. And I think guys are just accepting that role. And it's just about getting more uh, comfortable as the uh, season goes along and as we uh, start to wind down for the postseason, really. How do you, like, how do you imagine like, poking at um, Spring, him having a championship already, just being able to kind of get some advice from him. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, great. Like I said, uh, interviews before to have a coach that you know know what it takes to get to that championship level and also win it. You know, so he's definitely been around this game for a long time. He's a great teacher, as you can see uh, with the team that we have. You know, a lot of people had counted us out and doubted us since the beginning of the year, but you know now he we're doing all these things and you know winning games and stuff like that. You know, the doc is considered a guru, but we kind of like I said we had. I trusted him before the season even started, before the guys got traded on our team, you know, and then the new guys coming along, they just fell right into the line, you know. So he's a great teacher. He's a, you know, even bigger student of the game. Even when we're on the plane, he's always has, has his laptop in front of him watching games, edits and stuff like that. So it just goes to show you, man, he's been around this game for a while, and he's also been a player, so he knows what he's doing. So you've won a championship before. What, what's that like? What's it like to win a championship? Uh, it's undescribable feeling, man. You know, just once you, you know, hit the clock go off and, you know, it's all said and done, uh, you know, it's just a different feeling, you know. And it's amazing what you do with guys you've been around and all year and you've been working and fighting to get to this battle and you're finally here, you know, and then when you actually, you know, run through those doors and it's over with, man, it's like one of the best feelings in the world. Such a physical player, can you sense when somebody else doesn't like physicality that you go against? Yeah, because they basically tell me when I'm on the court, you know, it's crazy, man. Uh, crazy being, I don't know why they do that, but uh, now it's not that team, you know, a lot of guys be like, man, like, hey, man, that bump, man, was definitely so. Once I start hearing stuff like that, you know, I just get, you know, even more amped up and just get in my mind, like, oh, yeah, he don't want to play this physical game, and then I'm just going to do it even more and more and more each time down the floor, you know, and by that time, guys, you know, worn out, and then they just start getting out of the way. So they actually tell you that. Yeah, I've, I've been on the court with a, with a couple of guys, man, and I've been in a bang-bang situation. Like, even if I got a charge here, you know, guys have been like, man, that bump, man. Like, like God, that, 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 one, that was tough one, you feel me? So, like, like I said, a lot, a lot of guys in this league really want to just keep having that physicality hitting against them all game and just banging on them and uh, just, uh, you know, just keep playing physical all game. You know, a lot of guys don't want to do it. There's, there's very few guys who is able to do that and just move standing for 48 minutes. Thanks,